of the master class. Good morning, good morning. Oh. <laughs> okay. I am so excited for today. Good morning. Say hello when you pop on. My hair is getting in my face. Amanda! Let's see if I can share this into my group really quick since we're on my personal page. Good morning, Liba. Hi! Miss Amanda, the Amanda. Good morning, Linda. <laughs> Good morning, Andy. Welcome, welcome. Get your coffee or your water if it's p.m. for you, a.m. for some of us. Good morning, good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Jennifer. Are you guys ready for this magic coming? Okay, so if you have not seen day one and day two, everything's above for you, nice and simple. Day one replay is there, day two replay is in the private Facebook group. So you just click the link and, and um, answer the questions to get in the private Facebook group and you'll see day two replay in there. <gasps> I just posted my offer about a half hour ago, better late than never. <sighs> Way to go, Sharon. Okay, who here completed the 100 ways, fastest, easiest, funnest ways to make our big number right now? I just hit my money numbers yesterday. Feels so good to reach our goals. And to be really honest with you, my money goals are what they used to be because I made a huge mistake last December and I had to walk myself out of that. I made the kind of mistake that takes a company out. And it makes sense because four years ago I was on welfare and I've learned as quick as a girl can learn and I've had epic humans helping me, but of course I'm gonna make some mistakes, right? Like that's, that's obvious. Obviously we're gonna make some mistakes. Okay. Looks like everybody's rolling on. Good morning, Stefan. Okay, so big welcome to Stefan and Kylie and those of you who joined the ACA and um, Tara who joined the Elite Membership Program. I'm so excited to have you guys. And I know a few of you are um, working on, there was a glitch. So um, some of you had a glitch with the payments. So my team's on it. I've tagged you um, with Hannah, one of my team members in the, um, in the messenger. So if you had any problems with the payment, just let me know, we'll take care of it. Sometimes there's a glitch, welcome to technology. That's what it is. Diana, Ken, Linda, Rochelle, Marlene, uh, and now um, I saw your post. I saw you, I saw your tag, congratulations. Do you feel how simple this really gets to be? This is just like one simple free training that I'm giving you guys, right? Like this is a way of living life. This is a way of doing things. So when you start to see behind the scenes a little bit, you can see how I went from welfare to a million dollars in 25 months. Can you see the difference that we do here? The energetic difference, the physical difference, the like just really the different way that we play life. And honestly, this masterclass has been a massive blessing to me because I've been able to get even more clear what my purpose on, on planet earth is. And so like the clarity that's coming to me is like my purpose is to live raw and vulnerably and wide open for the world to see, to inspire people to play a big game, to play a big game, to stop playing small, to stop procrastinating, to like really like why wouldn't we go for the big numbers? Why wouldn't we invest with the people we really want to invest in all the way to the level that we want to? Why wouldn't we do the freaking thing? Do you hear me? Like why wouldn't we? It's so ridiculous that we wouldn't. And, and quite frankly, oh my God, Mandy, I have to share something with you. Go ahead and post in the comments, Ken. Um, so why wouldn't we play a big game? The, I, I know in the industry, <laughs> I didn't say this. Actually, okay. I know in the industry, we talk about these patterns and these healings and we have to go to the root cause and I believe in that work and I've gotten so much of that work done myself. But being really honest, most of those are just BS excuses that we just made up to procrastinate. They're not real. There's not really this deep rooted thing that you need to undo, right? Every once in a blue moon, there's something really big that we need some support on and we get support on that. So even then we would just get the support on it. We would reach out, right? Like reach out to me for anything. I have a network of incredible human beings, right? But 
why most of the time it's really just an excuse and so we're gonna dive into that today but before all oh, ken made four thousand dollars last night <laughs> of course you did <laughs> because this works this works this is why my clients get such powerful results i'm not holding anything back i'm like hey guys this is what it looks like to play at this level like this is it right here yes of course and and so it is and so everybody here is going to have the same results why not you why Ken and not you? Why me and not you? Of course you're going to, right? And this gets to stay this easy. If this is resonating with you, then stay close to me. I have no shame in saying that. Get in my programs, hop in my Diamond Mastermind, at least get in my, my Elite Membership for 97 a month, right? At least connect to my energy that way. Or at least, very, very least, go on my Facebook and click follow and then put C first. If you don't know how to do that, welcome to organizing your Facebook. It's really powerful, right? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. We're gonna do a giveaway again for sharing this video because today's message is absolute fire, okay? So all you're gonna do is the same thing we did on day one. If you weren't here, this is, what, this is how it works. You're just gonna go below to the little share button or you're gonna do a little video recording. You can do a little video recording, throw it on your Instagram stories, tag me, put it on your feed, tag me, share it to your Facebook group, share it to your Facebook personal page. Um, every place that you share, your name gets put in the draw and then the reward for this is really big. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You don't get to know what it is, but it's really freaking amazing and you're gonna absolutely love it because I just, it supports me so much when you do this. There are people connecting with me that are in deep pain and struggling massively that found me because you shared the video. I want you to hear this. There are people that are getting really high level, incredible help and feeling really loved because you shared the video. They told me, I found it because X and X shared their video. I found you because I can't believe I found you. I've been searching for you. I've been looking for this kind of support, right? Like we need each other. This is community. We really need the support of each other. We are meant to do this together. This is not a solo show. Let me just tell you from a human being who just skyrocketed to the top all by myself. And then I was like, this is really lonely this sucks. <laughs> like, I don't like this at all. And then I had to really like leave and search and go to a different place to find a different community where they were teaching me how to build a life for myself and connect to humans. Right. And then I just used a lot of creativity. So just go ahead and share the video below and then just post in the comments below. Cause my team is going to go through and they're going to pick winners for this. Okay. So how many winners do I want to do for this? I'm going to do four winners for this. <laughs> I'm gonna do four winners for this. So go ahead and just let us know below. Tell me that you shared it and tell me where you shared it. Also, another way that you can do it is to tag friends below. So if there's someone on your heart that you feel like, you know, really needs support in coming to play at this level, like that's what we're doing here. All we're doing is shifting into playing a bigger game. I'm gonna give more and you're gonna receive more. You're gonna grow more, I'm gonna grow more. The more I give to you, the more I grow and evolve. The, the more you support others, the more you grow and evolve. The more you receive, the more you grow and evolve. It's this, that's it. It's just a cycle of, of receiving and giving, right? Shared on personal page. Thank you, Sharon. I found you through a share. See, how do you say your name? Dacia? Oh, what a beautiful name. Found through a share. It's so big for us to be collaborative and to work this way. This is why you'll always hear me shouting my clients and my mentors from the rooftops because that's how, this is how life is meant to be. And I know it can feel like I don't want to give that person attention. They're getting too much attention and I want attention. I remember feeling that way, right? Thank God I outgrew that because it feels so freeing to live like this. It feels so good. And I remember thinking like, oh, I don't want people like, you know, she's not like me. She doesn't believe like me. If, if I share her stuff, people will think that I believe like her, that I want to be flashy like her, or that I'm vulgar like her, or that I'm whatever like her. And so I've had clients share that with me. And I have felt that about certain mentors I had who were very, very flagrant and very like, I'm the queen. Everybody bows down to me. And I was just like, ah, that energy doesn't resonate with me. But yet I had to just let go and stop holding people as small as though they would think I am the other person simply because I'm supporting them, right? So this is actually like a really big moment for us to check in and see where we're at with competitiveness or jealousy or you know playing small or really one of the biggest ones for my community is actually just not wanting to be seen. So it's like kind of like a quietness, hide in the back. I don't wanna be bright. I don't want the spotlight on me. Even sharing things feels like more of a spotlight on me. That's a big one in the community. Well, I need you to start being really bright, like really, really bright, like the brightest that you can be. I need you to be the brightest you can be so that people can find you. 
so we can find each other and we can just do life together, lock arm in arm and walk up this, this journey together and just go through everything together, the storms together, the winds, the celebration, Ken's huge celebration of making 4K yesterday, of course he did, because he's showing up and he's investing and he's challenging himself and he's calling himself to more and he's doing the work, of course he did. People need him, people need his voice, right? Yes, 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 okay. Thank you for sharing all the shares. The team will go through and um, this really does support human beings. I need you to know that. And it's not just me. It's for anybody else around you, right? It's like be the kind of human being that that just spotlights people, makes them feel seen and loved and just shouts them to the world. Like be the kind of person that really like, if you like something and it resonates with you, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. It's not about fake stuff. It's just about when you see someone and she looks beautiful, tell her that. When you see someone's stuff and you're like, whoa, this is mind blowing, say that. When something really supported you and helped you, say that. After I made this big mistake in my company, right? So um, that was, uh, it was in December, but it didn't really hit me until like February. Um, so in February, I had this like big problem that I had to face. And I was just like, it was like, it felt so over my head. And it took a lot of humility for me to be like, wow, here I am known as this coach who's like makes tons of money really fast and super successful. And I'm crashing and burning and like, holy crap, like I don't even have money to pay a mentor right now. Like I don't have money to do anything. Like I made such a big mistake, right? And so, um, and some of you know, I've shared openly what it was. I just don't wanna get into it today. It's not really um, worth the time today. But what happened was I had to go ask for help from people and I had to be the girl who was known as this and be like, wow, this is my identity in the world. Like this is why people value me. And I really had an identity crisis. Like if I let go of that identity, I'm just going back to the welfare girl. I'm going back to the white trash, stupid, you know, welfare girl that's that's easily discardable. And I and I panicked because I felt like all the value that I am was being lost and it wasn't there anymore. And so I had to breathe through that and I had to really let go of the ego that was like, no, you should have this much money and you ha should have this, you know, the success should happen this fast and this is how it should look and yada yada and all the voices that were in my head. And I was like, yeah, but that's not what is. What is? is that I know how to make tons of money really fast and there's things I don't know and I made a big mistake and I don't know how to get myself out of this. I actually don't know how to clean this up. I need help. And I reached out to a community. I found my new mentor. I found the humans that I do life with and I asked for help and I said, I'm so far over my head, I'm drowning and I don't know how to fix this. And I had to say it out loud publicly to a community because I didn't even know who to ask to help. The people that I had learned from before whom I love and adore and have taught me so many wonderful things did not know how to help me transition this because I wasn't doing the solo act anymore. I said, I don't care if it all burns down, I'm done. And it just might have burned down. I was like, I was, a, this wasn't like a false thing. This was me really going like, if it all burns down, if I lose the house, if I lose the company, the money, I don't care. I'm not doing it this way anymore. I, this is not how I want my life to be. And so I walked away from everything I knew into this new place and, di and during this huge mess, also while I was turning 40 and my son was graduating and moved out and I had just moved across the country and I had just asked for a divorce. And it was like this, he is like no era of my life was recognizable, right? And then I asked for help. And part of that was the, the ability that I have that I've learned because I've been able to witness some really incredible human beings. Part of this was me being able to say, uh, this is just what it is. Just surrendering to what actually is. Okay, but this is what it is. Who would have known that in order for me to build this global, you know, multi-million dollar company, I would go through a year of ass kickery and making, you know, no money and, and having debt everywhere and having to clean it all up and having made all this damage and, and who would have known that that's what it actually looked like on my fourth year? I wouldn't have known because year one, two, three was so easy. Who would have thought my fourth year would be like that, right? So. I developed and I just had this attitude of, and which was really pushed to a whole new heights, which I'm so grateful for, because I didn't know I had all that ego going on. I didn't know I had the like, no, I'm the girl that makes tons of money and look at me and this is so easy. And I really actually didn't have the depth of empathy that I, I now have for what it feels like when it's not freaking working. <laughs> When you're showing up and you're showing up and you're doing everything you know to do and you're doing the mindset and you're taking care of your body and it's still not working. That is maddening. It is really difficult to stay 
uh, encouraged when you're feeling so discouraged and it's just not working, right? And so now I have this whole new, like, yes, I know how to go from, just as you guys have witnessed, I'm teaching you really how I rapidly made money so fast, right? Now what I bring to the table is so many other amazing, beautiful gifts, like how to collaborate and how to build community and how to make people feel really loved and seen and how to build friendships and how to build a life for yourself while you're doing this. And I'm so grateful for that. But I had this season, right? I had the season where it was just not working. And I got to develop all these new empathies and all these new skills and all these new abilities. And so what happened was I realized I had a really big ego and I didn't know. I really thought I was still being like this loving, cute, humble person, but I wasn't. Inside, I felt like this, this is how it should be for me. And I had developed this ego and I got to eat a lot of humble pie like a lot, like pie after pie after pie after pie. And I hope I never have to go through like something like that again. And I'm so grateful that I did. I am so grateful that I did. And today what I wanna talk about is a couple different things, but firstly, what I wanna talk about is really accepting where we're at, not trying to reach people that are, that are separate from where we are. Right, like I don't want, I, I'm not here to teach people how to run this really elegant team with systems on the back end and Facebook ads and I can connect you to probably the world's greatest human who does that, two of them, right? But I'm, that's not me. I'm here to teach you how to play a big game, to be raw and bold, to let yourself be fully who you are and to do it in a really loving, connected way where you're creating the abundance and the finances that you desire and the human being and connections and becoming the human being that you really desire to be. That's what I'm here to do. And so I'm not going to try to contort myself to be something other than what I am. And guess what? The journey looks like what it looks like. What really happened was year, like the end of year three, I jacked it up. Oh man, did I jack it up. Woo! My brother was like, why did you do that? And I was like, I didn't know. <laughs> right? Like I just didn't know what I don't know. And so I'm asking you to do a check-in really quick. Just <sighs> what story do you have of who you're supposed to be right now? what you're supposed to look like, how fancy my branding is supposed to be, how, you know, how my selfies are supposed to look, what weight I'm supposed to be, how much money I'm supposed to be making, how my voice is supposed to sound, how my blogs, how fiery my blogs are supposed to be, how elegant everything is supposed to, you know, come off, how complicated my backend systems are, and my opt-ins and my memberships and, you know, what kind of things my people say, just all of it. I just want you to just like check around really quick and maybe just have the courage to say it out loud in the comments below. What do you notice is a story you have of how something should be? But I can tell you the number one thing that stopped the people that come to me, the thousands of clients that I've helped make tons of money online now and build a successful business, right? One of the biggest things is they think it's, this is what they do. My Facebook doesn't, I mean, my, my website doesn't look good. I want it to look better. I keep updating it to reflect what I want it to reflect. And I need this professional photo shoot and I need a higher graphics person and I need a team member to do all these things. And I'm like, you're not even making 10K a month yet. Why are we having a three person team and professional photo shoots? What is happening? And so I started digging in like, whoa, what is that? That's super confusing to me because that does not seem logical. That does not seem fun. That does not seem easy. That seems like like making a, a lot more of a production than we need to. And I remember even someone that I was with before, I got to watch them in real life, and it's like, they had a professional photo shoot with like lights, like the professional lights and all these things just to do a Facebook Live. And I'm like, what the hell? Like I'm running a million dollar company and uh, you know, I, I don't even have light. <laughs> like, I, don't, I just use a selfie ring. Like what is happening? And so I started really digging into this without judgment, just sheer curiosity, like what is happening? What is this? And I started noticing, wow, so there's this thing that everyone's doing where they're looking out there and they're looking at everybody else's Instagram and Facebook and websites and they're like, oh, I, I need mine to look that fancy in order to be successful. No, you don't. No, you really don't. I want you to notice something. My graphics are like selfies. I even, one time you could see the phone in my selfie, but it was, the, it was like, that's what I had in the moment and the graphic needed to go out. And so I threw together a graphic in five minutes and put it out there. Like the reason people join with me is not because my graphics are fancy. The reason people join with me is because they feel me, because my message reaches you, because I know why. I know exactly what you're doing. I know why you're doing it. I know what you're doing that's not working. I know what you're thinking while you're doing it. I know what you're wishing for. I know what result you just want. I know all of that. 
So when I speak to you, you feel that. You feel that I really get you, that I'm like, no, I know what it feels like there. I know what it feels like to be showing up every single day and to just wish that you knew what to do and to try to frantically do all these things and take these free things and you know purchase these programs and still not be getting the result that you want or not getting the pace that you desire. And, and I, I know what it feels like to feel all this bigness inside of you and this potential and then feel like it's not working and to shut down because you don't say it right or you don't do it right and it never really feels like you're giving your best and it never feels like you're doing it right and you're worried what this person's going to think or your family keeps saying these sort of things or you feel like technology is overwhelming and and so you're doing all of these things and it's not you know damn well inside that it's not the needle mover that's going to get you what you desire it's not a direct line to your goal massive success building a stable you know, co company that has massive income coming in and reaching tons and tons of people, loving on them, helping them to get powerful results and helping, you know, helping people transform into what it is that they desire and leaving an impact on the planet. That's what we desire. But what the hell does the things that we're doing, all this stuff that we're doing has nothing to do with that. It's just this ego craziness. Right. And a lot of times it's like three different ways. So your ego will come from things that were trained to you, like uh, religious beliefs or, um, you know, family beliefs and dynamics, those kind of things. So they're just handed to you through society and culture and that kind of thing. Then there's the ego ones of like the should. So it's our own ego stuff that we're like, um, you know, comparison, stuff like that. Uh, it's like um, it's it's more it's not like a heart desire. Like what I desire is to you know, have a library and to read books all day and just really absorb this amazing stuff while I'm super present with my kids. Like this morning I woke up and I went to the store and I got this whole spread and I got cereals and juice and muffins and all this kind of stuff and I laid it out beautiful on the table with the Christmas decorations for when everyone woke up and I had some Christmas music going and I cleaned the house because we had sleepovers and my sister and my daughter, like everybody was here and we had company coming by and that felt really good. And I got to do that this morning, even though I was doing this masterclass and it didn't have to be a big deal here. And I knew I would show up and give the value. And I got to just do everything I desired. I ate my mung bean soup and I gave myself permission to do what I wanted. And I played music and I took a shower and I felt really good. And I even put some lip gloss on, which I never wear and I love it. I think it looks super cute, right? Like that kind of energy and that kind of life, it's like getting really clear what we desire. And then there's actual soul based, there's like soul based, um, you know, things that we desire. So when we can get clear, like where the ego is coming in, we can then begin to release it. Like, oh, half the time you're telling yourself you want something that you don't even really want. You just think you're supposed to want that. And if you can get yourself to want that, then you'll finally do the thing that will get you the thing that you really need. So you can finally relax and feel better. You just want to friggin' enjoy life. You don't want to be stressed out about the money anymore. And you don't want to feel like you have all this value to give, but nobody's listening. That feels like crap. And you're done with that. And you want it to be different. Am I on track? And so then we do all this frantic stuff, hoping something will work and then something does. And we're like, oh, and then we get this feeling of like, oh, but then I have to do that again. Oh, and then we start all over and it's just this exhaustive road and people in this industry, it's like wildfire and I'm watching it. I'm like, no, please stop. That's why I'm like, share this video, tag your friends, please. There's a different way to do this. And if you don't do it with me, that's okay. Just find someone who's helping you to su surrender to what is and accept what is like, okay, this is where I'm at. I don't, I want to be at the top over there, but I'm not yet. And I'm not going to be entitled and I'm going to be willing to do the work to get there, but I'm going to start where I'm at and I'm going to build my way up. I'm going to learn the skills and the mindset and the energy and everything I need to learn in order to get myself there. Right. And then we're going to release the ego, release the story that we're supposed to want something that we don't actually want. We're going to release the story that it needs to look as fancy schmancy as the other person's. I'm telling you what I teach you in the accelerated Academy coaching program. What I teach all my clients is the magic of making people feel like this. Ready? They first feel like, Oh my God, it's like she's in my brain. That's exactly what I'm feeling. That's exactly what's happening. Right? And then they're going to go like, Oh, this is what I need. This is exactly what I need. And then they're going to go to the place where they desire it. And once someone desires something, there's no selling. You don't sell to people. We're not selling. We're being there and ready the second they're like, I want that. And I want it with you. And we're like, yeah, okay, let's go. 
And if not, that's not our job. My job isn't to get you to buy one of my programs. My job is to get you to take massive action, to play a big game, to wake up, to stop letting ego beat you up because society accepts that and to really be like, okay, this is what I want and this is what I'm willing to do to do it and then start taking massive action to do it and not a fraction of what you want, not a fraction of what you're here to live, the whole thing, what you're really here to live, the big epic life of the best life has to offer for you right now, right? So that piece is really important. It's not even what I'm here to actually share with you guys. It's just really important. So through the season, when I reached out, I was like, crap. Like, and I, I really felt myself being like, I don't want people to see that I, you know, like a 10 K week was, is my goal. Like, I don't want people to see that because I crushed that before I had an $81,000 day. Right. And my ego was just like, bam, bam, bam. And then I just got to come back to the skill that I know the thing that I'm so good at. Oh, but it is what it is. Like, but this is what it is. So that means this is a normal part of the journey of me becoming everything that I wanted to become. That's just a normal part of it because it happened. <laughs> Therefore, that's what it is exactly what it was supposed to look like and nothing is wrong. And so I, if we can just come to a place where we're just letting go of that ego, letting go of the competition, letting go of the all of the crazy crap that makes us feel like it's overwhelming and complicated, and then we can really begin to actually tune in to what's coming through for us and let it be really easy. Does this make sense? And so stuff like I taught you to do yesterday feels a whole lot easier, a whole lot easier, right? The mindset I taught you the first day and the, the, the action I had you take yesterday begins to take a lot more sense. And so in this process, what you're going to do is you're going to start to also purchase and invest in ways that make sense for you because you're actually telling yourself the truth about where you're really at. And you're not trying to jump steps and be like, well, I want to be the coach that coaches people making 50K months, but I have only made a 10K month. Well, that's completely out of integrity and nobody's like people are going to feel that's off. And by the way, you're not going to be able to sell that really well. And I don't think anyone here does something that flagrant, but a lot of people here are reading books and then trying to sell what they just read in a book and haven't actually integrated into their own life. And here's why I'm going to tell you not to do that. It's not that I think something's wrong with that because, you know, we learn and we teach and there's nothing wrong with that. But here's why I say, no, we're not doing that. Not in, not when you're, if you want to, if you want to roll this way and do it the way I'm teaching you, we don't do that ever, 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 ever. And here's why, because the reason that you resonate with everything I'm saying is because I know what it feels like. I was right there. I remember what it felt like. I remember what the voices were. I remember how scary it was to take the action. I remember crying in my kitchen being like, this is never going to work. What if this doesn't work? I remember all of that. And because I have that wisdom, when I speak to you, you feel it. You feel it and it resonates and you feel safe with me and you get like, it's safe to invest with her. There's something different here. But if I had just read it in a book and now I'm trying to regurgitate it to you, I'm just trying to sell you. I'm trying to convince you I'm smart. I'm trying to showcase, look at me, I'm so smart. I'm not trying to do that. That's just what I'm doing. It's just the byproduct of doing that kind of behavior. So we don't do that kind of stuff. We're releasing that kind of behavior. We're at where we're at. Our skills and gifts are what they are. We are always going to have areas of life that are super messy and a disaster. That doesn't stop you from being able to support people where you are gifted and where you're, what's easy for you. I always think of like Oprah and Brene Brown and these people I really admire. They came to this point too, where they were like, but I'm a disaster. How, like, I don't want these people. Like, I can't be an expert helping them. I can't even get myself to stop eating chocolate chip cookies every single night. <laughs> I love that example, right? But what does that have to do with it? What does that have to do with Brene teaching me vulnerability? Nothing. She can be a disaster all she wants in that area and still teach me vulnerability. And so can you, and so can I. I can be, a and right, like I remember when my mentor said to me, it was right in the beginning of this and I was trying to get my footing back again and my mentor said, um, Mandy, just because you're going through this season right here doesn't mean you lost the skill that you knew in the beginning. And I was like, oh my God, you're right. Of course, I still know how to do that. I'm amazing at that. I'm just also dealing with this, which is a higher level problem. And so I got to start shaking things back off and coming back to life. And I walked my happy ass through that 11 months <laughs> one foot at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time, knowing every single day, it, this might be the day that all falls apart because I was on the edge that close. And every day I just found my joy and peace and my why and I stepped back into it, right? And I allowed myself to just continue to walk through this journey day after day. And I would say literally it was just this month I finally broke through to the other side. Just this month. And you know what I'm thinking? This is why so many people fail in, in the first five years of their company. It makes perfect sense to me now. 
Like I now completely understand why people fail so epically because this is hard. And you know what the big secret is that I didn't know before? Like, cause I just didn't have any of this kind of wisdom. I was a waitress and a nanny. What did I know? I never worked for a company or a business or anything like that. Ego. It's all just big fat ego. It's all just trying to make it more fancy than we have the capacity to make it, spending more money than we need to, hiring people we don't need to, trying to you know, be something that we're not, trying to sell something we haven't walked ourselves through, instead of really just recognizing and owning like, wow, I'm here and five years ago I was here and there's thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that are where I was five years ago that would kill to be here, that don't understand even how to get here. And yeah, I wanna be there and I wanna teach there, but I'm not there yet. And the way that I'll get there is by embodying and teaching this. And when I truly bring what I have to bring to the world, where I'm at, without adding any kind of fancy schmancy, trying to teach things we just learned and don't know, right? Like know in our being, then it doesn't sell. And so you can see someone's stuff and you can model yours just like theirs. And you're like, well, theirs sold, but mine didn't. How come? This is why. There's no mystery to this. This is just deep levels of integrity. This is like really deep integrity. This is really wide open, vulnerable living to yourself and to the people around you that you trust, right? This is like really just, it is what it is. I'm at where I'm at and okay, I'm gonna accept that and now I'm gonna start operating out of that. Okay, right? I made it, time zone confusion, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so celebrating those of you who have already taken massive action and joined, celebrating those of you who have uh, taken massive action and gotten massive results. <laughs> this is amazing. The breakthrough is always, but like it never fails. This is the secret behind what I do with my clients. And the, the journey now is two different things. It's one, to have the courage to do it well before you feel ready, which I'm gonna dive into with you right now. And two, it's staying close to the people that help you get the breakthroughs. That's it, right? Just stay close to the people, help it. like be the person that's smart enough. Do you know what? When I first graduated Health Coach Institute, that was the first investment I ever made. Like when I was a nanny, I was still a nanny and I decided I was going to school. I left the neuropsychology program and I was like, this ain't it. 10 years of school and I didn't find the thing that was it. I joined the Health Coach Institute, got certified as an organic, uh, organic, um, a holistic health coach. And on graduation day, Stacy. Stacy and Carrie, Carrie Peters and Stacy something, I forget her name, right? Uh, I actually bumped into her at the Platinum Partnership thing for Tony Robbins. I feel bad that I don't remember her name, but I don't remember her last name. But you know what they said to me? They were on stage and they said, uh, somebody asked a really powerful, smart question. They said, what's the one thing that I can do to make sure that I, you know, that I'm successful at this? And they said, get a mentor, hire a mentor. And I heard that and they were like, it felt like the successful parents that I never had. My parents did the best they could and worked so hard, but they never had any kind of wealth or success. We grew up on welfare, right? So uh, when they told me that it was like, oh, I could see that they were being genuine. It wasn't a sales pitch. They were saying, get a mentor. Like that's the thing you need. And I said, okay. And I did. And I was one of the only people who did. And and I got massive success. And then let me just tell you something. And then in the mentor program that I was with, there was like 30 of us. I was the only person who got results inside the mentor program. Cause guess what I did? I got the mentor because that's what my first mentors told me. And then I listened to the mentor and what he told me to do. And I did what he told me to do. It, and then I was the, the only person out of that whole group who made a lot of money, just me. And everybody else was so pissed. And I was like, I get that except for, and that man was kind of, you know, not kind of, he was a complete douche, right? It just is what it is. I'm not gonna hide it anymore. I was scared to say something before because there were threats and stuff, but I'm not scared anymore. It's so out of integrity, so many lies and dishonesty, a lot of manip manipulation, but I still got results. Because I'm the kind of human being who will get what I came for. Because I'm the kind of human being who has the courage to say, okay, I'm at where I'm at, this is what it looks like. And I ask the real questions that I have to ask. I mean, and I've asked some really like potent questions. Kat was one of my mentors for a while and I said to her, I, I remember asking her because she was one of the few mentors I had that was a multimillionaire that had children and I remember asking her, I have this story that all moms that are millionaires are crappy mothers and she was a mom. And I had to have the courage to ask because that was my real question. Like I'm stuck here. I'm stuck at the place where I feel like all multimillionaire moms are crappy moms. And I had to ask the question. And I had to trust that I picked people that can handle what I'm really going through, what's really coming up for me, what's real. It took courage and humility. Do you hear me? Like it just took faith that I'm choosing human beings who are giving me sound advice 
and I trusted my instincts and I, it was even a bit impulsive. I actually recommend being a bit impulsive because otherwise you've got five seconds before the chatter starts coming in, right? I just was, uh, somebody was in my messenger asking about joining the Accelerate Coaching Academy program. I'm gonna really be really blunt. If this person is on here, you know, just know that this is an example that serves everybody because we all do this. Let me just tell you how many hundreds of people do this in my messenger, okay? So the first thing they ask is a question that's already on the sales page. And I say, did the sales page open for you, right? I'm directing them back to the sales page. Then they ask me a question, does the coupon code 10%, does that um, apply to the payment plan? Well, they could have just typed in the coupon code and then checked to see if it worked for them. They could have followed through with doing that. And so one of the things I noticed this morning, I was mulling over it like, yeah, this is a cue for me. People like that aren't having success. Like I notice they struggle so much more and I'm not teaching them, I'm not saying, hey, ask questions later, do the thing and ask questions later. Like there's a bit of impulse that's required here, like savviness. It's not about being careful and it's not about being reckless. It's about being savvy. Like, don't, like go look at the sales page, type it in and see if it works. Do these kind of things for yourself. And it's not because it bothers me that someone didn't do that, it has nothing to do with it. For me, it's about understanding like there's a level we're playing at here. We're the CEO of our company and the CEO of our company does things. They make decisive you know, decisions. They take bold, brave risks. They do the damn thing and they have the courage to just walk it out. But they're also not asking, stopping and waiting on someone else. They're taking action and they're doing things, right? Like those questions weren't required if, if that person was in a CEO mindset. So I was like, okay, Mandy, note to self. I just made a note like, okay, this is happening rep repetitively. People are asking questions that they shouldn't be asking. If they were paying attention or if they were just, if they were showing up at a CEO level, they, they wouldn't be asking these questions. It doesn't phase me at all. I just made a note like, okay, teach that. In the ACA program, teach them. Teach them the CEO mindset. Teach them how we show up this way and how we play this game and what it really looks like. Teach them how you are, Mandy, when you show up and get mentored because I get what I came for in every program that I ever show up in. If you've ever had a chance to witness me being the student, you would be like, what the hell? This girl never shuts up. That's really what you would say, right? And some of you here have been able to witness me being the student. I ask every question I have. I'm loud. I raise my hand. Sometimes I get a little nervous, like, oh, you're taking up too much room, Mandy, and I have 47 questions left, but I just keep pushing that line and pushing that line because I know that's the way to be because we're here to play a big game. And you it's time that you play the game where you get what you came for, right? We're not just hesitating and holding back and like, oh, I don't wanna annoy this person. I don't wanna be the squeaky wheel. Be the squeaky wheel. Ask all the questions, say all the things, right? Look at Ken earlier, Mandy, capital letters. I have something to tell you. And he got my attention, good for Ken. That's what we're here to do. There's like, what is the sense in playing quiet and holding back and living this kind of life? It's completely senseless, right? And by the way, holding back that way is just ego. It's not humility. It's not humility to say, oh, I don't wanna bother anybody with my questions. That's you saying like, I'm so significant. I know, I know. I remember when I told myself this, I was just like, ooh, there's so many things, there's so many like little cues like this that I can support you with, right? It's like, oh, I'm so significant that if I have to ask a question, everybody here is gonna pay attention to my question and be annoyed. Like, no, <laughs> we're not that significant. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a question and people are gonna listen and resonate or not, and that's it. And the person's gonna answer or not, and that's it. It's just not that big of a deal. <laughs> we like, Or like a lot of my clients will come to me and be like, I haven't been posting in a while. I feel really bad about posting my offer now. Like, we, we wish people were paying attention that close and being like, What's Mandy doing every day? It's been two days since she's posted a thing and like, whoa, she's really changing what she's doing on Facebook. Like people just aren't paying attention that much. They're too busy doing their own crap. Nobody's paying attention. You're really free to explore and just play and just do the thing right where you're at. Nothing needs to be any different than where it is, right? Okay, now the funny thing is, none of this has anything uh, to do with what I came here to teach you today. <laughs> that was all a tangent. I love you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. This is what I came here to say. You have to have the courage to do the thing before you feel ready. I chose my, I hired, I, you know, I, I, I chose to go to HCI and get that certification. I had no I did not feel like I was gonna be a health coach. I was literally healing from 21 years of bulimia, right? Like I did not feel aligned with that at all. I did not feel, but I, I wanted it. I wanted to understand it. I wanted to know that world more, but I didn't feel worthy of it. But I did it anyway, right? When I, when I started college, I never felt worthy. I just did it anyway and learned as I was doing it, 
clarity comes from courage. Courage creates clarity. Analysis does not create clarity. You know, it does not. Action creates clarity. There has never been a time in my entire life that I've done something that changed my whole life that I felt prepared for and ready for that. I was like, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do this now. It always felt like, oh, what's going to happen? How do I know this is going to work? Every investment I've ever made, right? Let me just tell you, when I made that huge mistake in December and then I reached out to my, you know, the community and the, the, the mentors that I have now and I asked for help in there and I hired that mentor, I literally had to use every penny I had. I used every penny I had to hire another mentor. That's what I did. This is not, I'm not just saying this to make a sale. I know that because I used to think the same thing. Like, how do I know this person's not just really good at selling? No, please put that down. Please just put the questioning and the, the, the like hesitancy. Like that's not serving you. Put it down. You're here for a reason. You can tell I, I, my heart is pure. You can feel that. I know you can because we know the truth when we hear it. We, we know real when we see it, right? We just know. So put that down for a second and really hear me. You are, you are going to have to, if you want success in, in having massive success in your life, especially in this industry, you are really going to have to make investments well before you feel ready. And there's not going to be any evidence that it's going to work. Like, yeah, I can totally see how all that's going to work. No, that's not how it works. If you're on someone else's path, this changed my whole life. I have no idea where I heard it, but it changed my whole life. If you are on someone else's path, you can see the whole path, right? And this is definitely me paraphrasing whatever quote I heard back then. Okay. And so you can see the path and that feels kind of safe because you're like, okay, I just need to do this and this and this and this. I can kind of see that. When you're on your path, guess what? <laughs> you, there is no path that you see. You see one step ahead of, ahead of you that you can do. Just like, okay, I have no idea how any of this is going to work. I have no idea how I'm going to learn how to run a team and SOPs and systems and organization and taxes and bookkeepers. And like, ah, I have no idea. But all I know is this one thing in front of me right here. I just know to do this one thing. This might all burn down. I have no idea, but I just know this one thing right here. All I know is I just want to do life with other humans. I just want more friendships. I want more collaborations. I want people to know my clients. I want to shout them from the rooftops. I just, I want to like really do life solidly with other people. Not some like, not some transactional life. I want like real deep. That's all I know. And just do this one thing, Mandy. Just, okay. The rest will work itself out. Just do this one thing. And when you're playing to the cutting edge of life, when you're living your biggest game, when you're living to your actual potential, most of the time you're going to feel like you're going to throw up. But what happens is, right, like this is why I say to my clients, they send me the throw up, the puke emoji after they join. And I'm like, yeah, you're right on track then. But what happens is you actually stop feeling the feeling of puking and, and you start to rewire your system like this. You follow the fear, right? You've heard it said a, diff a million different ways, but I need you to really hear this. I need you to pay attention to this, Okay. Because it's not easy for me to say. It's uncomfortable for me to say, hey, if you don't do stuff that scares the crap out of you and you don't invest in a way that supports you, you're not going to have success in this field. That's not easy for me to say. I feel like people are not going to like me. I feel like I don't want to be the person saying that. I like to live on a rainbow and just tell you all the amazing things. I don't want to have to tell you this. People are going to think I'm trying to sell to them. People, are, But I love you enough and I, my commitment is to be completely transparent and raw. And if I'm not telling you this, I'm not serving you. I'm holding back and hiding because I don't want you to not like me. So I'm okay with you not liking me. I'm okay with some people just being triggered and walking away because there's those of you who are ready and really need to hear this. You are going to have to push yourself to a limit that doesn't feel comfortable. You're going to have to do things that feel like, oh my God, I have no idea how this is going to work. You're going to have to look fear dead in the face. You know that thing over here that's like, and you're like, I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing all these frantic things. You're going to need to stop and look this thing dead in the eye and be like, boom. Okay. Here's the thing. And you're going to have to be like, okay, that's what it is. This is what I'm facing. This is what I'm overcoming. And then you're going to have to do the thing. And your body and your brain are going to freak out. Hear me. Your brain's only job is to get you to do whatever you did yesterday and the day before. That is its job. That's called survival mode. If you've ever wondered the real difference between surviving and thriving, this is it. It's your brain going, we only know that you'll exist if you only did what you did yesterday and the day before and the day before. You're not allowed to do anything new. If you do something new, you might die. So we're going to send signals to your whole body and we're going to send hormones and everything into your body and we're going to light it up like a Christmas tree so that you're like, warning, warning, warning. What if this doesn't work? What if this doesn't happen? And all I can think about is could you imagine if four years ago when I decided to leave my nanny job, when I decided to become a health coach, when I decided to allow it to transition into business coaching because everyone was coming to me having me help them make money because everybody started making money and my name just went wild, right? So 
if, if in any of those moments I had truly been like, what if this doesn't work? Oh my God, what if, what if I lose the little bit I have? I'm making $4,000 a month. Like I'm just gonna keep doing this because I know this works. If I had allowed those fears to actually stop me, which most people do, can you hear that? Most people in those moments go, no, 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 this is too much. It's too dangerous. What if it doesn't work? I'm just gonna hold back and I'm gonna play safe. I don't wanna put it on my credit card. I don't want any debt. I don't, I just want it to feel good. I want blah, blah, blah. Well, growing feels like growing. It doesn't feel like complacency. Right? So if in any one of those moments I had allowed the fears to be bigger than my desire to go to the next level, to serve these people, to allow this to become what it was, I would still be that girl making $4,000 a month. Or I would still be the mom on welfare, living out the welfare cycle that everybody was on. It's a big trap. It's not easy. To, it's not easy to get out of religious dogma. It's not easy to get out of these poverty cycles. These are not things that are easy to get out of unless you have somebody who walked through it who's helping you. Do you feel me? Like your brain is going, you just can expect that. You can anticipate, nothing is wrong. What happens is most human beings feel these feelings of like, oh, that's too much. And what if it doesn't work? And then they think something's wrong. That's too much. I'm going to go find a different way. I'm going to keep taking these free things or I'm going to find a cheaper way to do this or I'm going to whatever the thing is. Ex instead of following the thing that their soul said, oh my God, this, I don't even know how this is going to work. I just know this and I just know this one thing. And then do the one thing and trust that the rest will work out. That is not an easy way to live. I know you've heard it before, but now look at your life. Just for one second, close your eyes again. Just take a dig, like a really deep breath, take a dig. <laughs> or take a deep breath. And I want you to feel, just feel it. Can you feel the part of you inside that is so crystal clear, that's unscathed by anything that's happened, that's steady and decisive and strong and fearless, absolute certainty, crystal clarity, knows exactly, exactly what's wanted, what's desired, what's required, knows what the one next step is, knows what feels exactly like a hell yes. Can you feel that part of you? And now I just want you to feel the part of you that's going, oh, but I don't know, and I'm not sure, and, and it didn't work last time, and I, I did this, and, uh, and and what if it does, and I'm not like that, and, uh, and all the hesitations. Can you feel those two parts of you? The part of you that's hesitating, and what if this doesn't work, and I don't want to go into debt, and I don't want this, and uh, That's the part of you that is called survival mode. That's what survival mode is, right there. It's nothing more than the, your natural biological brain doing what its job is, is to keep you safe and to keep you alive. But we're not living in the kind of life where we have to actually make sure we stay alive. That's not real. That's just, a, it's just an, a, a, a sensation in the body. It doesn't mean that you have to give it meaning. The meaning I give that is, oh, you're right on track. Oh, you feel like you want to throw up? You're right on track. This is the safest way to play life, to live a big game this way to feel and push myself to the edge of who I am. And I follow that fear. I follow the things that I'm like, oh, just anything but that, just not that one thing. Why do you think I say to my clients all the time, I said this the other day, I said to you, no, 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 don't do that second or third thing that just came to your mind. The first thing that came to your mind, that's the thing we're doing, the first thing, right? So people be like, I really wanna be in Diamond Mastermind, but I'm just gonna join ACA. Okay, well, at least you're moving in the right direction. There's no judgment, but the first thing you felt was to join Diamond Mastermind and you didn't. You played small and we learn, we learn from our mistakes. We learn like, oh, I could have played so much bigger. You have no idea. It took me four years to get to the place where I actually went too far. And thank God I learned what going too far looks like. Cause the whole time I was like, holy crap, I'm doing like, I just kept going bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was never too much. Never. I finally reached the place where I was like, whoa, that was too far. I literally was trying to skip to billionaire. <laughs> well, good for me for trying. Why not? Who knows? It could have worked. It didn't, and I got my ass kicked, but that's okay. I learned epic amounts of things, right? But like most people are so far from the line that they think, they think they're at the line of where that tipping point is, and you are literally miles away from it. You have no idea how much stuff is, magic is looking to come through your life if you are willing to play a bigger game and take some, take some savvy risks. It's gonna require you to face your fear and step into your fear. And if it doesn't work, you take the lessons you learn from it and you go again. Instead of this stuff, people are like, oh, it must not be meant for me. What? No, that is your survival brain. That is your survival brain going, no, 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 don't do that. 
And then we're gonna, like people think it's really noble to say, oh, that must not be meant for me. I'm gonna do something. What? No. <laughs> no, where does that come from? No, 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 no. It's just understanding the, it's the body and the brain. The, the brain is going to do that. So that means nothing new is gonna be meant for you if that's the belief system you have. So my job here today, my intention today is to get you to, to, uh, a, to what's the word I wanna use? Not occur, to uh, relate to the sensation in our body that we label fear differently. It's just a sensation in the body. Some people feel that sensation and go like, ah, I'm right on track. This is my direction because I'm, I'm feeling that fear. That means I'm outgrowing myself. I'm triggering my nervous system. That means I'm outgrowing what is. That means I'm growing. It means I'm moving in the right direction. Growing feels like growing. Growing feels like fear. It feels like facing fear and doing it while you're crapping your pants. Shit your pants and do it anyway, <laughs> right? That was actually one of the mottos in HCI. Thank God they taught me that. That was the first place I learned it. Like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that when I'm freaking out and it feels terrifying that that means I'm actually in the safest path possible. Other people feel that sensation in their body and they see it as a warning. I shouldn't do that. Something's wrong. Something bad's gonna happen. And you can see the mischief in that. So if you know 100% guaranteed when you do something that's new, that's different than anything you've done before, it's literally going to, like every human's the same, your brain works the same, you're not gonna be the one human being who's gonna step and outgrow what is and step into something new so you can have something new and your nervous system's not gonna get triggered. That's not real. Your nervous system is gonna get triggered, but it's how you associate to that trigger, to that sensation in the body that's gonna control everything. Do you associate to that feeling inside as excitement and oh my God, I'm right on track and look at me, I'm outgrowing myself, I'm on the cutting edge, I'm, I'm living to my true potential? Or do you associate it to like warning, something's bad, something's wrong, I probably shouldn't be doing this, this isn't gonna work, I'm gonna play it safe. Or, oh, this means this isn't meant for me. God's shutting that door, whatever the thing is that we tell ourselves. Without just that one missing piece of understanding that that's inevitable, that that is going to happen. It's like saying I'm gonna to go to the gym and I'm gonna work out, but I'm never gonna sweat. If I sweat, something's wrong, I'm hurting my body. I could see how somebody would think that. I could see how somebody would feel that. I actually even have my own version of that. So one of the things my mentors are having me do is this ice bath. And I really was feeling like, Lori just messaged me, hi Lori. Um, I was feeling like that's bad for my body. Like, why would I put myself in a state of shock like that? Like, and I really needed someone to help me talk through because I really did have a story that that would be bad for me. It's bad for my body. Just like I used to have a story that doing things that scare me is bad for me. It's not good for me. It's not good for my health. It's not good for my mental. It's too stressful. No, the story you keep making up that this isn't going to work. And what if this doesn't work? That's bad for your psyche and your health. Doing something that scares you and makes you come to life and brings out the best of you is so good for you. Choosing to focus on what could go wrong, not so good for you. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? There is a way and a level, and this is what I call my clients too, to play the biggest game we've ever played, to face our fear, to do the thing, to leap, to jump off the cliff, to be like, wah, I only know this one thing. This feels so reckless and crazy, but I'm doing it anyway. And the way we relate to that is what I shift with you. This is what I'm calling you to, to relate to it differently. And so here's how you can practice. For those, there's a bunch of you who has, um, who has already joined up for the ACA or the Diamond or the Elite Membership, but here's what I want you to do. You can just use this as an example, right? Just look at the ACA program, $4,444, right? So how do you feel about joining that program? Let's just say it resonates with you. Let's say I wanna learn step-by-step step how to build my business, how to do this really easy, how to live in this energy you're talking about, Mandy. Okay. Then if that's the case, if you want to know step-by-step step how to have digital programs, one-on-one -on -one offers, how to make money right now, right away, like how to actually make money right now, and you want to learn the mindset and the coaching skill behind this, then it's for you, right? Okay. So then just look at how does it feel to invest 4444 Just feel that in your body. Maybe that's really easy for you, okay? If that's super easy for you, then let's say a $30,000 pay in full for the Diamond Mastermind. $30,000, you get 12 months of actually one-on-one -on -one access to me, daily access. So whichever level you're coming in, you're playing at, let's just play at that game, okay? I want you to feel that inside your body. And I just did this myself. I just made my own investments, was like completely maxed me out every single penny and I was like, Ugh! there's that feeling. How do I associate to this feeling, okay? So go ahead and feel that. And just notice this is absolute gold. This is so much gold right here. What is the first thing that comes up? Put it in the comments. What's the first thing that comes up for you? Tell the real truth here. This is such a safe space, I got your back. Right? If you can just trust me for a minute. 
Sometimes I do things because I know that it's what serves you and it's, 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 there's different things I do. Like someone will come in my messenger and want to know the price for something and I ask them, what are you willing to pay for it? And some answer and some don't. And I know the ones that don't answer, they're like, if they had just trusted me, the breakthrough that they would have had, I wasn't going to charge them anymore. But they, they, too much scarcity, they couldn't answer it. Nauseous, beyond my limits, scary excitement. These are some honest answers right here. This is the feeling right here. Are you flipping crazy? Nauseous, scary excitement, beyond my limits. This is so perfect. I'm so glad I thought of this. This is freaking brilliant. I'm just opening this so I can see everybody's name. A lot of nausea, fear. This is the feeling right here. This feeling right here, right? How? Another one. But how? Right? This is the feeling right here that I want you to tune into. I desire that. And then what happens for most people is instead of being like, of course I get to have it. Cool. What's the creative ideas I have coming to me? What action do I know to take right now? What's the one move that I know to do right now? This is happening for me. I get to have this. What's the one thing I know to do? Right? Do you see the difference in that energy of like, oh yeah, I want that. I'm clear. I just got clear that there's something I wanted. Cool. What's the creative ways that I'm doing that and stepping into, of course, like, so one of my gifts is whatever something I desired. I don't care how unrealistic it is that I can have it. I know I can have it. If I just have enough humility to be like, okay, this is where I'm at. And if I actually tap into my resourcefulness and there's nothing you can't have, there's nothing beyond your limits, nothing, not a single thing in the entire universe, <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. It's done. The second you already, it, all the means were already there before you even really made the decision of like, that's the thing I want. But it does have to start with you going, yes, I want that. I want it. 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 <laughs> That's it. I want it. And then you'll see that sneaky feeling that comes up behind, but, but you can't have it, but that's too much. But how do I do it? But this, but this, but this, I want you to relate to that sensation in your body differently. I want you to relate to that sensation in your body as evidence that this is meant for you as proof that you are going in the right direction. And I just want you to think about any other areas in your life where you have that same feeling, nausea, fear, panic, how I don't know how to do this. Is it a familiar feeling for you? Wherever you go, there you are. This is about creating an extraordinary life. Having a successful business that makes amazing money, doing what you love, being able to travel the world, be your own boss, buy your mom a home, do the things you love, have epic support is really incredible. But this that we're talking about right here, this habit of having that sensation in the body stop you from moving forward, if it's showing up here, it's showing up everywhere, everywhere, because this is who we are. So if I can call you to a place where you are relating to that sensation differently, you are going to break out of survival mode and you are going to thrive. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. That's just what it is. When you stop allowing the brain to hold you into the repetitive nature of doing whatever you did yesterday and the day before, and you can feel safe doing the new behavior, creating a need, right? We create the need. We go first and then we are met. We are not like, oh, you get to have everything ahead of time and then you go. That's just not how it works. I don't know why. I can't answer those kind of questions, but I can tell you that's how it works. I can tell you if you create a need, your need will be met. Has that been true your entire life when you really need something it's always there what if this was just about you having the courage to create a need what if this was about you going first without evidence and proof that it was going to work what if you started claiming your life you started living at the ceo level where we're decisive and we make the bold move first and everything else aligns to us instead of being in the position where we're analyzing and hesitating and waiting for something else to happen that's not how it works it's not, it's not how it works. And the, the thing that needs to happen in order for you to be able to, to, to outgrow that, for you to be able to live on the cutting edge of what you're really meant to do, for you to be able to push that line, for you to be able to live in the powerful energy you're meant to, for you to lead the way you are called to lead is going to require you to relate to that sensation differently. So how would you like to feel when you think about, oh, a $4,000 or a $30,000 investment. Tell me how you would like to feel. 
When that same sensation comes up, how would you like to relate to that sensation? Because what happens after this is 100% reliant on how you relate to the sensation. I'm going to say that again, okay? What happens next is 100% reliant on how you relate to the sensation in your body. If you relate to the sensation in your body of like, boom, there's my next path, there's my next thing, that's the next thing I'm doing, all right, infinite source, all right, 360 degrees of me being able to have what I desire, let's co-create this because I'm having that. And now I'm gonna get into my creative energy and I'm gonna write 100 ways on how I'm gonna be able to have that. I'm gonna raise the credit limit on this card, I'm gonna put some on this one, I'm gonna sell this thing, I'm going to, um, you know, uh, you know, receive it through this way. I'm going to whatever the creative ideas are on how you're going to be able to do the thing. It was never about if you could figure out how to, it was never about that. Tell yourself the truth. This is just a perfect example of it. You're going to find so many other areas of your life where this is true too, right? This is just a really tangible, easy way for me to get you to feel the things I want you to feel so you can really see this and you can really experience this and you can really be like, whoa, that's how those people do it. That's a different way of living where it's like, oh, that thing scares me. I want that, but I can't have it. That's too much. I don't know how to do that. And then we stop there. We check out and we look for other things that feel safer or easier or we understand more or whatever instead of going for what we really actually want and like leaping off the cliff, right? There's always a way to create what you desire. Always, always. I need you to hear this. It is infinite source and you are an infinite being and there's always a way for you to create what you desire. It's never about the money. It's never about the money. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. So if the standard is it's never about the money, I'm never not allowed to have what I desire. I always get to have what I desire. There's infinite resource. Then what's actually happening? Now you can start to see what's really actually happening. When you want to hire that first team member or, you know, hire the fifth team member and have that person organize the whole team for you. When you want to hire the cleaners, when you want to, um, you know, delegate some kind of the stuff going off, when you want to bring your family on a vacation, when you want to, you know, invest in a mentorship or a program, everything that you desire, you get to have and you're the thing stopping it. There is nothing else. <laughs> And the thing that's causing you to cog that, to stop that from flowing into your life and allowing massive wealth and abundance and joy and fun to flow through you in your life is no different than a relationship. It's no different than being the woman who's saying, oh, every guy cheats, every guy's a cheater, every guy's a douchebag, and then wondering why you're not finding an amazing man. It's no different. I can't, I don't know how that's not for me. Okay, you never tapped into the energy of, of making this happen. And so what I'm asking you to play here in every area of your life is for you to relate to the sensation differently and feel it as a call to more, feel it as a challenge, feel it as a, oh, there's a way for this to happen. Can I be resourceful enough to make this happen? Can I believe in my worth enough to allow this to happen? Can I have the courage to just do it? Can I have the courage to extend myself to this level? Can I start to believe and feel that the sensation of that fear and that, uh, and that like, this is what I do, like, uh, this is what it feels like, uh, okay. It just feels like getting jiggy with it is what I call it, right? We got jiggy. Can you have the courage to get jiggy and understand that that's a calibration to the highest level you, that you are outgrowing survival mode, which most people live in and exist in. So that has become the normal thing. So we don't think there's anything wrong with it. There is something wrong with it. Nobody wants to live in survival mode. You weren't meant to live in survival mode. That is not what's for you. You are meant to thrive. But we just have to outgrow the basic part of us, the basic anatomy that tries to convince us that that's dangerous and bad. <laughs> and this is what it really looks like. So when you see those people that are just skyrocketing and you're like, what are they doing? This is what they're doing. This is the difference. This is that behind the scenes stuff that most people don't talk about. Or that maybe they don't break it down in a way that we can really understand or really see it. This is what I really do. I really live on the cutting edge. I really do these things. I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to get you to understand that this is what it really looks like. So if you're the kind of person who's waiting on someone else to do the work for you and you're just kind of holding, waiting on something you could have done yourself and figured out yourself, this isn't gonna work very well for you. If you're the kind of person who stops and hesitates and turns back every time something scares you, this is not gonna work out for you. What's required is for you to take the brave action well before you feel ready, to do the thing that feels like, oh my God, I'm gonna puke. Yeah, so puke. 
crap your pants, puke, do whatever you're gonna do, it's fine. Your nervous system will calibrate. It's just your brain freaking out saying, you didn't do this yesterday, you're not allowed to do this. <laughs> warning, warning, warning. Okay, I hear you, thank you. I know, but you don't actually get that this is gonna, this is really amazing for me. So we talk to our brain and tell our brain what's up. Okay, brain, I know that this is what you're used to, but this is what's up. This is why this is gonna be safe. This is why this is gonna work. This is why, right? And so we start claiming it. Like I'm the person, every investment I make, I make back 10 times every penny that goes out every single time, no matter what. I always receive my worth. I always show up. I'm the kind of woman who follows through. I'm the kind of person who takes really brave action and really brave leaps. Every time I feel the fear, I look at it, I face it, I feel it, and I frolic myself right to that next level. I know that this is all working out. I feel everything working out. I feel the clarity. I feel the courage. I feel the decisiveness. I am a CEO. I'm someone I'm proud to run this company. People can rely on me and trust me. I'm a reliable human being. I give my very best everywhere I go. Everything I touch turns to gold. And we live in this energy. This is the difference. It's this or what if it doesn't work? Oh my God, let me calculate this. Let me see if everything works. Blah, blah, blah. And your soul is like, please stop. And your brain's like, no, 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 no. We need to crunch numbers. We need to make sure. How do we know this is going to work? We need to ask a couple other people. <laughs> I get so silly. This is what it really looks like and I just love you enough to tell you the truth, right? Courage, puke, then live the result. <laughs> I love that, Gina. <laughs> yes. It's okay if you puke. Do you know that I've really actually, I've peed my pants, freaking out, and I've puked. I have actually puked. <laughs> and it was, it's never happened again because once my body learned like, oh, stop freaking out. Like in a way, because of all the trauma and the horrible things that happened when I was a kid, I never grew up. So other people watch horror movies or something like that. Like I went into this scary, um, this haunted house, like track with me for a second. It's actually valuable. I went into this, this haunted house one time and, um, and I, I literally flipped out. I completely lost my shit. And I thought it was going to be like, I thought it was going to be like, <laughs> like, um, sheets and like woo, 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 and like sheets like of ghosts and stuff like that so like i'm going and that's what i think i'm gonna see and it's literally like this horror movie inside and i literally fritzed and freaked out and here's why because because of all the trauma and the things that happened to me when i was younger i developed this thing of like oh that could happen to me so most people live in a place of like disassociation like oh like they have no concept of like that might happen to me they're just like oh i feel bad that happened to that person but it doesn't feel like it's probably gonna happen to them when I saw things, I was like, oh, if it happened to them, it's probably gonna happen to me. And so there's a, a layer of extra trauma that I experience with scary things. So I don't watch any scary movies. I don't go to haunted houses. I don't do anything scary. I live on a rainbow. But the blessing that came from that trauma was also when I see someone doing something magnificent and amazing, I'm like, oh, that, that's gonna happen to me too. So I get to use it as a really amazing, beautiful thing. And I really encourage you to try on that energy. Like when you see someone crushing life, send tons of love her or his way, shall, you know, spotlight them, be like, oh my God, you're doing so incredible. And then believe like, of course that's gonna happen to me too. Like, of course I get to have that too. I literally have a running list of things when I see people. It's this huge running list that I have. I used to keep it on my wall right there. I'd show you, but it's out in my parlor. So uh, when I see something that's like, oh, that's amazing, whether it's a physical result, if it's an energetic way of being, it's a community they created, whatever it is, right? And I put it on the list. Like, it's a, of course I get to have that list. Of course I get to have that list. Like, so when I get jealous or I get pinged or I get like intimidated or whatever it is, I just put it on my, of course I get to have that list. It's on my radar for a reason. But none of that's going to happen if I'm not willing to grow. And all I want you to do is understand today that Every time you choose to grow, your nervous system is going to freak out. And if and, and all I wanted for you today was to really feel what it feels like when you're in survival mode, what the voice is, what that sensation is in your body. Recognize how familiar that is. See how much that's been controlling you. And to reflect back to you like, wow, if I had listened to that during all of these points in my life, I would never be here. All of those points in my life, it felt like I was pretty damn sure that this was the thing that was going to take me out. That's how it felt each time. Like, this is it. You finally went too far. This is the thing that's going to take you out. And I had that story for so long. I'm done with that one. I finally outgrew that one. I actually outgrew it finally when I did the thing that almost took me out. <laughs> I was finally like, oh, that's what it feels like to go too far. And I was like, wow, I like there's oh so much I can do before I ever reach that place. I just tried to skip you know, 27 steps. <laughs> we can skip 15 or maybe even 26. I don't know, but not 27. <laughs> it's 
totally fine. You're not going too far. You're not even almost going too far. I can promise you. You're not even, at, you're, you are so far from that line that it's not even funny. And I want you to get a taste of that. I want you to get a taste of how far you really are from the line that will actually take you out. And by the way, even when you cross that line, it doesn't take you out. You just become way more savvy and you just became way more wise and you learned a lot more humility. It's fine. <laughs> it, even that is not a problem. It's totally not a problem, right? You're in my brain. Whoa, release now. Yes, I love this. Noted. Burning it off. Done investment over and over again. And all I got was more debt. Yeah, and so we get to look at that, right? Like that gets to be a blessing. Everything that happens, happens for you. It would be so easy for me to be, be pissed off about what happened in December. I could tell you that story in a way where you would be like, wow, that's really fucked up what happened to you, Mandy. I could tell you a story about the first mentor I had and you'd be like, wow, that's really fucked up, Mandy. Or I can tell the story in a way where I'm so empowered by it that you're like, wow, you're really lucky that happened, right? So there's so many people that have made investments over and over and over and it's just not panned out. There are so many people who just keep making more and more certifications, doing more and more things and it's just not working. The common denominator is you. And this is not about shaming. This is not about anything. We just get to start telling the truth of like, okay, what's really happening here? Because what's going to happen, I'm going to say this really direct. What's going to happen is you are going to repeat or evolve. So just doing the investment is not enough. We know that, right? The transformation begins in the investment. The most powerful breakthroughs begin in the investment, right? The investment is required in order for us to be able to go there. But then of course, there's the next level. Of course, it's like, are you the person who says what you need during the program? My, one of the first things I teach my clients in my programs is be the person who gets what you came for. Ask the freaking questions, show up, be loud, right? Like I give my people so much permission to just like, okay, this is what it is. Ask for the support that you need. Like be the person who's like, okay, this is what's not working for me. This is what I need. We have to get what we came for. And that is such a beautiful thing to learn and have someone to be able to call you to that is such a powerful thing to be called to, right? Like don't ask me questions you can look up on Google. Be the CEO. The CEO doesn't go like asking random questions and waiting on people. We bang things out and get it done. If it's possible for you to get it done, get it done and be savvy. If something's hard and you're trying to figure it out, call directly to the company or call this person or ask for support with it then. But you know, like these are the levels that I call people to inside of my programs and it really transforms us. But if you're getting a repetitive result over and over and over, you have not evolved. There is something you are being, that it is for you. Nothing is wrong. This is exactly what it was meant to look like. You didn't screw anything up, right? I have so many clients that come to me and they're like, well, I, I invested a hundred thousand dollars and I still haven't had the breakthrough. Well, thank God. Thank God that soul hasn't been like, well, okay, never mind. You haven't learned the lesson, but go ahead. We'll push you to the next level. No. You will stay at that level until you learn the lesson and evolve. Thank God, because the reward on the other side is so amazing. In this piddly amount or the couple of years that we spent doing it, it doesn't matter. In 10 years, when we look back, will it matter that it took us three years to break through? No, we won't care. It was never about that. It was always about becoming a more loving, powerful human being who's in our power, who's like really living on the cutting edge, who's supporting and leaving an impact on the planet, who's happy, who's lit up, who has a life that we really desire. So let's just say, for example, one of the things I did was I asked for a divorce, got out of a really abusive relationship and then got into another pretty abusive relationship, right? Emotionally abusive relationship. And I was like, ah, right? Like watched myself do the same thing. Different level, had different things that I really wanted that I got out of it. And I felt like it was progression, but it was still an abusive relationship. And so had I stayed in that, I would have stayed getting my ass kicked. That 11 months I got my ass kicked, and a big part of it was the decision I made to be in another abusive relationship, right? And I had to just be like, okay, that's where I'm at. I'm not very savvy in this area. Like I got a lot of work to do and outgrowing in this, right? But thank God <laughs> I was continuously getting my ass kicked so fiercely that I had to be like, okay, what? What am I not evolving in? And I had to face it and I had to get support and community. I went to my girlfriends, actually some of them are here, and I said, which was a really ballsy thing to say, I said, I need you guys to tell me how amazing I am and all the greatness you see in me. And I really need to hear that because I want to outgrow this behavior of choosing men that don't treat me right. And I asked for them to give me what I need. And they, they weren't like, oh, you know, like, like you're so needy. None of that happened. They were like, oh, thank you so much for asking for what you need. It feels so good, like, yes. And they loved me and we recorded it and I have the recording and I play the recording when I need to. And I just keep getting support in any way I need to. Like, no, this wasn't enough support. I could so easily judge myself for how much support I need in that area. And instead I'm just like, but that is what it is. I just need epic levels of support in this area. 
So if you have a place in your life where you keep getting the same result over and over, you might need epic amounts of support in that area and you have to ask for it. You need to get clear what support you need and then ask for it. We're not doing this like, I'm, you know, I'm a person and I'm not speaking to you, Andy. This is how I was right before I asked for what I need, right? So I'm not gonna be the person anymore who's like, oh, like I just need someone to fix this. And like, why is it like, uh, no, nobody's coming to fix it. Nobody's coming to rescue you. We evolve or repeat and nobody comes to rescue us. We go first. You must go first. You must just have the courage to take that first step to ask for what you need, to get clear what it is you need. What's the problem? What's happening? Get support to get clear what that is. Whatever it is you need, all resources are available. Everything happens for you, every single thing. I don't care what it is. You're not, that one thing that you're struggling with, that you're not the one person whose one thing you're struggling with isn't happening for you. It is happening for you. It is happening for you to wake up and to mature in an area of life. And we don't like that. And it feels like a temper tantrum and that's okay. And we can have temper tantrums. I have plenty of temper tantrums. It is happening for you. And only you can get the clarity and the courage to say, this is what it is. This is what I need. This is the one next step. And someone asked me today, how do I know if it's my intuition guiding me? The truth? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm the only person I've ever heard say this, but this is my truth. My truth is it just feels like a guess. You're making your best guess. That's how it feels. But it feels like a guess to your brain. It doesn't feel like a guess in here. And here you know, but your brain is like, I'm not sure. That's okay. Let your brain say, I'm not sure and guess anyway, because in here you already knew. What's the instant thing you know you need to do? What's the one next step? And then you trust that and take action to back that. This is a very different way to live. You feel it? Yeah, we keep trying to fix ourselves. That's what we do. I don't know why we do that because we're not meant to do that. We deserve to have each other and there's infinite resource. So the story that like, oh, I don't have the money to do this or that. Yes, you do. And, and if you're really like, I really, really, really got my ass kicked and I really, really, really was in a bad place and I said, I need help. I'm drowning right now. Will somebody help me? And I'm the kind of person that you want to help because I'm going to take your help and I'm going to run with it and I'm going to help hundreds and thousands of people because you were willing to help me. And I'm not afraid to say that. And I'm not afraid to think that way about myself because I am a person who's worthy of putting your time and effort into because I'm going to utilize it well. And I have a big heart and I'm in a lot of, I'm, I'm in direct integrity with myself and I show up really big and raw and I'm going to use everything you pour into me for good. And I'm, I trust myself to make investments because I fuck some shit up, but I will just keep going. I make mistakes with my clients or did something wrong and then I make it right. I, I forgot something and I make it right and I do my best and I try to do better and I get better and better every day, right? We are a betting horse. You are a betting horse. I don't care what the past looked like. The past is not evidence of what's available for you in the future. The past has nothing to do with it. Who cares what you did every day up until now? Every single one of you here on this training, even if you're on the replay, put hashtag replay below. If you're here on the replay, you're here for a reason. This is not a coincidence. You are a betting horse. That means you're someone who it's worth putting investment into. Your money, your time, other people's resources, using the credit or whatever you need. You're the kind of person that I don't care what the past said to you. Every single one of you here is a different human being now that you've done this training. And you're certainly a different person if you've done training one, two, and three. You're not the same human you were before you started this training right here, right now. You have a different awareness, a different awakening, a different sensation in the body, a different way of relating to what's happening. You are a more powerful, savvy human being now. So why would we then go, but back here, this happened. What, how does that make any sense? You're not that same person. You're a different person now. And stay focused on that and moving forward and what you feel is working and what the clarity is that you have and what breakthroughs you're feeling. When you stay focused on that and take aligned action, everything else works out. You might get your ass kicked in the beginning. It might fail for you five or six times. So what? It's not really that big of a deal. It feels like a big deal because we hyper focus on it and we look at all the things that are wrong and I should have this and I should have that. No, no, no. Remember I said your first power move is surrendering to what is like, okay, this is what it is. This is like, you know, this is the same thing as me in a relationship. I'm like, fuck, this is so embarrassing. Like why? I'm such, I'm this powerful, loving woman, but yet I do this silly thing in relationships and it's like, okay, but that's where I'm at. I know I will outgrow this and I will choose an epic man. I will never settle down with a man who doesn't treat me right. I know that, but my behavior right now scares me a little bit and I just get to release that and be like, okay, this is for me. There's pieces that I still get to learn and it is what it is. And it doesn't make any difference if it's money or love or fitness or health, like it is what it is. You're at where you're at and you need what you need and that's all there is to it. And every, every resource is available for you to have what you need and either you're gonna choose it or you're not. And nobody's gonna come rescue you and nobody's doing it for you and it's gonna feel scary. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole shebang for today. 
it's gonna make you feel like you're gonna throw up. And for some of you, you might need to actually go and call your credit card company and raise your limits or generate the money or do what you need to do. So when clients come to me like, I can't afford it, I'm like, that's not a conversation. That's not a real conversation. Either you're willing to do what it takes to make this happen or you're not. That's it. Either you're willing to tap into creativity and you're willing to like really show up for this because if this was an emergency and someone you loved, I think I said this the other day, and someone you loved was in danger and, and you needed to come up with $4,444 or $30,000 painful and you needed to come up with that in order to be able to help that person, you would come up with it in a millisecond. Are you willing to play at that level in order to choose something like this, in order to choose what you desire right now? Why not? What's the difference? You being able to break into absolute abundance in your own life and do what you love and, and, and bring your gifts to the world, why wouldn't we show up just as big for that? Why does it have to be a dangerous emergency for somebody else for us to show up to that level? If you're capable of showing up at that level, you're capable of showing up at that level. And either you're willing to show up at that level or you're not. So if up until now you have created a financial situation for yourself that doesn't feel good, you're gonna have to show up at that level. Doesn't mean you're always gonna have to show up at that level for the rest of your life. Maybe you'll love it and you'll just stay living that way, right? This is really the art of us being a willing to give 100%. 100% when I'm working out, focused, allowing my body. 100% when I'm writing my blog and letting fire come through. 100% when I'm with my daughter and I'm with my sister and her daughter. 100% when I'm here with you doing this. And the art of just giving the best we have to give and being able to focus and move, shift, boom. Done this task, focused on the next. Okay, putting that one away, focused on the next. Okay, work's done, time to play. Okay, put that down, time to, you know, to challenge myself in this area, time to learn, whatever it is. It's about being able to put that down and give 100% in these areas. And so it's required for us to be able to actually look at, okay, I suck at that. Are you willing to suck until you don't suck anymore? Like, who cares if you suck at it? Who cares if it got screwed up 76 times before? It doesn't matter. Here you are, having the breakthrough you needed, getting the next step for you. Just take the one next step. Stop looking at the past and what didn't work, right? That doesn't serve us. It's like, what, what doesn't work? What doesn't work? What doesn't work? Why isn't this working? What doesn't work? What doesn't work? It's so real, it's so real. It's just about actually getting really clear what you want and then setting your mindset like, no matter what I'm having that now, what does that look like? That's it, it's a way different way of playing life. Yes, yes I love this, noted. I have lived in survival mode so long, even with so much healing, failed to recognize the side of survival mode, so ready to leave it behind. Yes, Linda! <laughs> Okay, so that's the message for today. I know that this isn't the most, you know, tinkly, tinkly, yeah, tinkly bells and rainbows, and but it's real. And honestly, it gets to feel like rainbows and butterflies if you want it to. It's up to you how much you're going to torture yourself because you know what you're being called to do. You know what feels like a hell yes. And if you just back the hell yes and stay focused on everything that's going to go right, you're going to feel really good. But if you're stuck in what might go wrong, you're going to feel really shitty. And that's it. It's just that simple. And either you're willing to, to just do whatever's required of you to make it happen or you're not. And it's just that simple. I know. I know. I didn't say easy. I said simple. It's not easy. That's why only 1% of people hit seven figures in this industry. It's why so many businesses fail. But you're not that person. You're the kind of person who's willing to evolve. You hear this and you call yourself to it. That's why you're here. You wouldn't still be here if you weren't that human being. That's for sure. You can trust yourself. You are a betting horse. You really can trust yourself. Just let go. Let go and trust your instincts. Trust what you're being called to, whatever that is. If you're being called to the Accelerated Coaching Academy, the 10% off, that's $444 off, is still on. It's mandyperry.com slash ACA. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, just PM me. That's my diamond mastermind. You do get full access to ACA as well. And if, uh, if ACA isn't registering with you and you really just want to connect with my energy, that would be the elite program. That's 97 a month. Every morning we do Zoom calls for 15 to 30 minutes <laughs> and you just get my energy and touch points. But really the best part of it is community and friendships that we're developing in there and really having each other's back and knowing that you have a place that you can always be at, that you never have to leave, where you're fully welcome. All of you is welcome. Your celebrations, your win, your struggles, all of it is there. Um, and those in Diamond Mastermind get access to the elite. Um, and that is mandyperry.com slash elite, E-L-I-T-E. Um, I'm going to be doing, oh, that was a powerful message that's needed. I'm so glad it resonated. Um, actually, I might as well just ask now, does anybody have questions about the ACA program? I think I'm going to do a separate um, Q&A for this because there's been a lot of questions coming in. 
It's funny because most of the time I say, stop asking questions and just trust yourself. And we're just looking for a way to procrastinate on making the decision and we're looking for a way to convince ourselves that this is not the thing for us and you know, like convincing ourselves to not purchase or whatever we're doing. Most of the time the questions aren't relevant. They don't really matter. Either you want to build a thriving coaching business and my voice resonates with you and you want to learn how to coach at a high level and be coached by me and you want it to be simple and like really simple and basic like this or you don't. And, and if you do, this is the program, right? right? Like, <laughs> but I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. <laughs> I'm going to love the ballsy human who still asks a question after I said that. I would, I would ask questions after someone said that. I would ask any questions that I actually have because that's what I do. I just ask a lot of questions. That's why I think I'm going to be doing interview style stuff in my company now because I know that I ask really smart, powerful questions that help people, right? Even my friend, Sean, who will be teaching inside of my Diamond Mastermind coming up. Um, I'm so excited for my people to meet him. Um, he was like, oh, we just need to let the world see the questions you asked me and my answers. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> been there done that accepted the present to be able to forge forward yes 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 so exciting i'm just checking something really quick where do we send you the questions so you can just post the questions right now in the feed um if you, have, if you have questions about it right now, you can just send it in the feed or you can PM me if that feels better for you. Like you can just ask live right now. I have a couple extra minutes that I can, I can answer some questions that you guys have. I'm just being patient because I know there's a big delay most of the time. This coffee is really strong. I need to generate the money to join anything. How much time do I have before it closes? I don't like, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I publicly will like close the doors just because people need support and being decisive. <laughs> Uh, but I don't really close the doors. It's, you know, it's rolling enrollment because because um, I just don't believe in saying, no, you can't join. So that's the truth. But we do have the 10% off ends um, uh, Tuesday. So the la so on day five of the masterclass at 11.59 p.m. Eastern, so at midnight or, yeah, at midnight on the last day that 10% off will be removed and then it'll be the full price. Why do we keep moving to different locations in this amazing training? Um, because I wanted to. That's just how I wanted to do it. It feels fun and good and it boosts my platforms and gets people used to the different places that are me. <laughs> That's a cool question. That's why. It's these silly little things that I teach you guys in ACA, right? Like why would I do it all in one place when I could boost the algorithms on all of my pages, right? Yeah, that's why. Any other questions about ACA? Every question gets answered. Everybody gets what they need. If there's like, there's nothing that you're not gonna get inside of this program. You will get every single thing that you need inside of this program. If there's anything you need, I would love you to personally ask me because I would love to create it and make this program even more valuable. We've been running it for years now. Um, there's everything is in there. How can ACA help with selling a product or starting a different type of business, not coaching? because it's um the principles in here there's only like one module so there's one module that i teach you how to actually create your digital online program like step by step which is really valuable to have even if you're not planning on doing that because the moment you do want to do it you'll have that as a resource other than that every single module in here is about just building an online presence an online program operating at a high level you know being coached you get one-on-one -on -one access to me um, for coaching you're gonna watch me coach other people and you're gonna watch the pitfalls that hold people back also um, I do a, like when we're teaching about selling I'm also gonna talk about selling a physical product because even if most of the people in there aren't selling a physical product it's really really amazing to understand and know how this works how does the psyche behind this work how can we really love people really epically and show up really big in a way that serves them and choosing what actually resonates with them because right, all we're doing is helping people choose the thing that will help them be the most aligned version of themselves. And that includes physical products, right? For sure. I mean, all of us feel a different way with different things around us. So I will also be covering, um, you know, how to sell physical products and that kind of thing. Makes sense. Totally love it. Thank you for being you. Aw, thank you, Leva. <laughs> 
Okay, I think that's it for questions. Um, if you have any other questions, just send me a PM. I'm happy to answer them. Um, and today's homework is for you to do the thing that you feel scared to do. Whatever makes you feel that fear. Maybe it's joining one of my programs. Maybe it's something completely different. You know what it is, right? And maybe bang out a couple of them, a couple of the things that scare the crap out of you. But all I want you to do is to have one experience, a taste of what it feels like to feel that fear and to challenge it in a new way, to relate to that fear in a different way. Like, oh, I can feel it now. I can feel the difference between me living to my highest potential and stepping into my ability to be creative and resourceful and make it happen and believing, of course, it gets to happen versus the like, I can't, I can't. How do I do this? That's too much for me. Uh, excuse me. Um, how do I do that? And like, ah, just not getting stuck in that. Remember we talked about not getting stuck in the sticky stuff? Like, oh, that's all sticky, yucky. Like, this feels like breath. This feels like, oh, this feels like flow. This feels like, of course, this feels like all the good feels. And something that feels bad is bullshit. Remember, anything that feels bad is not real. I know it feels hard to really believe that in the beginning, but it's true. It really is true. And you'll see if you challenge it consistently, you'll see that it's true. And so I just want you to get a taste of that experience and start to feel the difference between thriving and what it really takes to be massively successful and survival mode and stuckness and fear and where our focus goes, right? We've heard it a million times, what, you're, what you focus on expands, right? But then we accidentally don't apply it to the very places in our life that we need it. Most of us even teach that to our clients, but yet there'll be areas of life where we're just like, oh, I didn't even notice. Right? I just said that with my coach the other day. He was coaching me. I was like, oh my God, I teach this. And I literally didn't even at all see that I was doing it myself in my own life. I'm like, that's why we have each other. Right? Yes. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for those who shared. Um, congratulations to those who won. Congratulations to Ken for following through with the homework and making 4K just like that. Boom. In one day. Um, and um, I will see you tomorrow on day four for the W Income Masterclass. I actually don't remember where it is or when it is. I can go back to my, <laughs> my magical emails and find it. If it's still here. If anybody knows, go ahead and throw it in the comments. Here it is. Bum, 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 bum. Nope, not that one. Here it is. Tomorrow is 3 p.m. Eastern in my private Facebook group. Okay, it's called Limitless. So if you're not in there, make sure you go hop in there. I give tons of value um, and really just, you know, drop these, these concepts. Again, the elite is mandyperry.com slash elite. Accelerated Coaching Academy is mandyperry.com slash ACA. If you're having any problems with payments, just reach out to me, I'll connect you with my team. Uh, it seems some people have it stuck in their cash somehow and have to reset that. So and my team will just help you with it. It happens every once in a while, it's no big deal. It doesn't mean you're not meant to do it. That's what some people do. It must not be meant for me. I don't know. If a tech glitch is the thing that stops you, this is going to be a long journey, <laughs> right? We're not letting a tech glitch stop us. <laughs> yeah. It's actually really good that that comes up because it's a good way to be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Notice how fast that comes in. <laughs> oh, I love you guys so much. Love you, Linda. Love you, Rochelle. Oh, I got another question. Here comes the ride. You're such a loving queen. How do you get people to... How do you get people that follow you suddenly start paying you to follow you? I feel like some of those people wouldn't want to pay money for stuff I've been giving them freely for so long. Oh, here's my honest answer for that. Stop focusing on that, right? Like that's like I'm focusing on what is and what could go wrong. Just do what you feel called to do and focus on how amazing that's going to serve the people that are ready for that. I know that's an annoying answer, but I'm telling you that's the thing that works. Right? Like you just got stuck in one of the sticky things again. Like, oh, I haven't been, I actually gave that as an example because so many clients say this to me, you're not alone, Libra, right? So clients will come to me like, I haven't been posting, I haven't been this and that, or I've been giving so much free content. This is a very, very common thing in the field because we think that giving that kind of value will serve people and then they'll, well, it's not really like that, right? I'm going to teach you how to specifically teach, like how to give free value like I'm doing here, how to give free value here, but people still want to actually purchase and go to the next levels with you. Okay, it's very simple to do it. I'm going to break down and teach it to you. So um, in the ACA program, but just know that like 
that's just a sticky place. Like we don't have to get stuck in those sticky places. Like, well, what if, and that doesn't work and how do I get people? No, I'm just going to show up and I'm going to give the value I have to give charging. And the people who are ready to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, finally, like there's a way for me to work with her. They're going to opt into it. And when you show up and bring the value and help them understand why they're experiencing what they're experiencing, right? Instead of giving them how to tips, you're helping them understand what's really happening, right? Like right now you're like, whoa, that's so true. That's what's been happening. I relate to that feeling this way. I have been being in survival mode. I really start to understand this now. And I'm calling you to play at a different level, right? I didn't give you tips and tasks to go do. I helped you understand something. And you're like, oh my God, that makes so much sense, right? That's the value we bring to the table for the people. That's what I teach you to do. That's why your selling every single day serves the world so tremendously. Because even if you don't join with me, you just got so much value from this. This is like high level badassery understanding and, and that's a somatic experience in your body that you're feeling and experiencing, right? So when you just show up and you bring the value that way, nobody cares. Nobody's like, whoa, you, everything was free. And, now, and even if they did, you're like, and? So continue to enjoy my free stuff. This is for the people that are ready to go the next level with me. Like it's just no big deal. So you just give zero thought to it. You throw your stuff out there, you back it with your energy and you stay focused on the people that are ready to play at a bigger level with you. That's it, right? Like I have so much free content. If somebody's like, oh my God, it's 30K to work with you, Mandy. Yes, but if you're not at that level, that's okay. Come to my ACA. If you're not at that level, that's okay. Come to my elite. If you're not at that level, I shouldn't say at that level. If that doesn't feel aligned for you, then just enjoy my free content. Nobody's saying you have to. I'm just here to serve and play with people who are ready to play a big game. That's what I feel called to. Not everybody's called to play a big game. Some people are called to play a big game and I'm here to serve those people. That's what's in alignment and excites me and that's what my gift is. Does that make sense? But the rest of the people can just go through all like billions of amounts of free content that I have. <laughs> They're not gonna get the same result as the people doing playing the big game, but they might not care about that. They might not feel like they're called to a really big game and to impact the world in a big way and to be really wealthy and have abundance, right? They just might not be feeling that. Investing money in yourself equals playing the biggest game for sure. Okay, wow. Okay, that does make sense. I need to feel that confidence that I'm worthy that amount. No, 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 no. Okay, it's not about, okay, Levi, I hope you're joining us in ACA. I can see the mischief happening here, right? It's literally not about believing I'm worthy for them to pay that much. That is a really self-focused way to think. That's how most people think, right? I need to make sure I'm worthy of them investing this much. No, no, no. We believe in them. I believe in you that if you're joining ACA, I, know, I see your greatness. I see what you're capable of and I believe you're gonna live up to what you're capable of. I believe that you're smart and, and savvy enough to outgrow your limitations and to make an investment. I believe that you will show up and you will ask for what you need and you will get what you came for. I believe that you're wise and savvy enough to choose me as a mentor because I align with you and because you can hear my voice really well. And I trust you if you can't hear my voice and it doesn't align with you that you're not gonna choose me as a mentor. And I trust and believe that when you come in the program, of course you're gonna, you're gonna get the results from it because of course you're gonna show up and you're gonna listen, you're gonna be a student who does the work. And that's how I speak to you. And oftentimes we just needed someone to believe in us and see us that way. That's what it is to be a leader. It's not about saying like, am I worth the 4,000, am I worth $30,000 for them to work one-on-one -on -one with me? Honestly, I'm worth $100,000 a year, all day, every day, and I know that. This is not about my worth. This is about I, I know and I see the greatness in you and I'm gonna reflect that back to you every second of every day until you step into it. I'm not worried about when you're being messy and when you're not doing that. I'm not gonna see you as that low vibe person. I'm seeing you as the highest level version of you. And I know you're worth every penny of this. I believe in you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold space for you to believe in you enough too. Does this make sense? So it's not about believing, it's about you actually feeling safe enough to get off of your own circumstances and yourself and really see the human beings in front of you. And once you see them and you see them in their greatness and their power, it seems silly to even think that they, of course, like, like as if a couple thousand dollars wouldn't be their value. Like, huh? yeah, it's not about us. It's really not. It's just not about us. It's about them. It's about that. It's about their value, their worth, their greatness. Of course, of course, that investment will be worth it for them. I loved you from the first time we met virtually back in May. Yes, it makes sense. Yay. I'm so glad you asked that, Leva. I'm glad that that resonated. Okay, that's it for today. 
Uh, I can't wait to see if you join the ACA or the Elite or the Diamond Mastermind. Make sure you you know comment below and let me know so I can celebrate you. I'm writing names down and already sending energy and transformation and magic breakthrough just happening for those of you coming into the ACA and the Diamond. I'm already tracking it and I'm already you're already in my vibes. I'm holding you in my energy and the magic will just continue to happen, right? Ken said yes, he's in, and then boom, four thousand dollars. It just is how it works, right? And sometimes we don't get that instant breakthrough because there's some maturation that needs to happen. That's okay too, right? Like at least we're being willing to go through the maturation that's required So we're not repeating and repeating and repeating. It's time to evolve. That's it, right? Okay, I love you guys so much. I hope this served you tremendously I hope you can hear my heart and my voice inside of this and I hope you can trust this journey and process and know that You don't have to listen to that part of your brain that keeps you playing small anymore It's really really safe to go big play a big fucking game. It's really really safe. It is it's actually safe. Okay, I love you guys so much. Gina's in the ACA. Gina's stretching herself big. Gina knows. Gina sent me the puke emoji. <laughs> Actually, that's what reminded me to do that post inside of the private group. Okay, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern, inside the private Facebook group for day four. And the rest of you, I will be celebrating with you for joining in the ACA. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any technical questions, support at mandyperry.com is the email. Um, or you can reach out and I'll connect you to my team too. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you missed day one and two, make sure you go back and watch the replays. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Just remember, all of success and joy in life is built on your ability to take action now. Because now is all that exists. Have the best day ever. Love you guys.